Hi everyone, it's been a while, but I'm finally back, and here I actually have a brand new video to show. Um, a uh, brand new deck to show. This is a Fluffy Chop deck of mine, and I am up against uh, an opponent who plays um, a little bit of everything. He plays Charizard, Blastoise, he has that uh, Kyurem there with Giga Frost. But anyway, so I've been having a few complaints that I haven't been showing enough decks, mostly just my Blastoise or my Darkrai decks. And I say, you know what, you guys are right. Um, you guys deserve to see more decks, so here I have a Fluffy Chomp deck. And I have also made a, um, a round deck. If you guys watched the top cut, you will have seen Puka's round deck, and I have made a variant of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's one great thing about the current format, is it opens up possibilities for a lot of decks that you just wouldn't have been able to get in previous formats. So, I'm playing Fluffy Chomp here. Um, basically Garchomp and Altaria. You have... Altaria is on the bench with the Fight Song ability. Uh, each of your Dragon-type Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage. And then Garchomp, for one Fighting Energy, does 60 damage. So if you have two Altaria on the bench, for one Fighting Energy, you're doing 100 damage. It looks great in, on paper, but really, it never really took off. So, <clears throat> so while I was talking, it is now my opponent's second turn, and it is... Well, he just finished. It's my second turn now. So, I have an Altaria on the bench now. Uh, my Gibble now does 20 more damage for each uh, of its attacks. My opponent is just powering up his Kyurem EX right now. He's willing for his Charmander to get sacrificed if it means he can power up his Kyurem. He doesn't have a Blastoise in place, so he can't power that thing up. Um, and really, Kyurem... Uh, this particular Kyurem does 150 damage for its second attack, Giga Frost. Norm, I'm sorry, 150. Did I say 170? Uh, I meant 150. Um, regardless, it does 150. Normally, that wouldn't be too good, but Garchomp has 140 HP. So if it uses Giga Frost against my Garchomp, that's a one-hit knockout, which is not fun. So he just attaches to his Kyurem and passes. It's now my turn. I rare candy into my Garchomp. That's a beautiful, shiny Garchomp from... Plasma Freeze, although in all honesty, Shiny Garchomp looks just like regular Garchomp to me. But anyway, so I played in there, and now we both get fresh hands um, of six. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at right now. <coughs> Excuse me, um, I had something in my throat today. I pulled four supporters off of my end, that's not fun. Uh, I do have a dowsing machine though, so I could use that to get a level ball right now, but mm, I'd rather save it for later. I'm able to do a uh, hundred... Uh, I don't know what I did there. I passed? Somehow, he just knocked out my Garchomp with Giga Frost. I don't know if I passed or not, because I don't see any damage on him. Mm, that's weird. So, uh, at any rate, he used Giga Frost, had to discard two water energy, but I'm knocked out, so he got what he needed. I played in there. Um, there's nothing I could do now, so I pass. He puts down a Reshram before a Kyogre EX, which I actually managed to trade for after this was all done, so I'm very happy to have that in my collection now. But, yeah, this is just a little bit of everything. I'm not really sure what to call it, but... By far, his biggest attacker for right now is, um, is Kyurem. So he plays Pokemon Catcher and flips Tails. Um, actually, I think Catcher is seeing a little bit more play now because people are realizing, even if it does require a coin flip, it's still sometimes worth it. Of course, it depends on the deck. You don't want to put Catcher in, I don't know, a Tool Drop deck. Because really, Tool Drop is... It, it just works well against almost everything. Um, but you will want to put it in probably a Blastoise deck in case you run across some sort of random Sigilyph Latias deck. That shuts off ability. No, no, it doesn't shut off abilities. Um, regardless, Catcher's not for every deck. So he just attaches to his Kyrman Passes. It's my turn. You see I have a Shiny Altaria in my hand. I play one Shiny Altaria, one 
pre-release Altaria, the one that came with the Dragon's Exalted pre-release, and one set Altaria. And with my Garchomps, I play one shiny Garchomp, one set Alt one one set Garchomp from Dragon's Exalted, and one set Garchomp from Legendary Treasures. So I have a uh really I guess I just built this deck because I had the cards across various sets and I just wanted to show off all my pretty cards. And really, um the different artwork across all the sets is pretty alone. And if you have the shiny uh, variants of them, then that's even prettier. And I don't mean shiny like secret rare. I just mean shiny like shining or pretty in any way. So his turn, uh, he uses Giga Frost to knock out my Altaria. And now I have to send up my Gavite. Uh, I could Dragon Call here, but I'm just going to evolve into Garchomp because I need to do damage. I could attach another energy and do Dragon Blade for 100. I don't have any Altaria in place, so the most I'm doing right now is 100, and I would have to discard two cards from my deck. Not an optimal situation, but it is an option in, in this. But I decided to just go for Mott Cut, the safer play. So it's his turn. He attaches, then draws. We, we played a little differently here. That That's no problem, though. He plays Pokemon Catcher, takes up my Gibble. He could just Outrage for Knockout, and that's exactly what he's going to do. And he takes another prize. This is just a really quick game. I don't know if I got it. Uh, I got a single knockout on the Charmander. That's it. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, that's right. That's that's how. Okay. Um, earlier when I was surprised that I didn't actually try to attack his Kyrim, that's because I attacked the Charmander instead. I'm sorry. This game is going really, really fast for me to try to catch up. <clears throat> so I used Dragon Blade there, did 100, discarded two cards from my deck, not two cards that I needed, so I'm okay with that. And um, he is thinking about using Giga Frost, but he can't. And I mentioned, well, you could just outrage for knockout and win the game. Um, my four prizes were Gibble, Two Swall Blue, and Professor Juniper. That actually hurt me a little bit. His prizes, um, he had Master Ball. Yeah, he plays Master Ball as his ace spec, but that's because it's the only one he has. So that was a nice quick game. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll definitely be making more videos uh, with my Fluffy Chomp deck. And um, stay tuned because coming up I have a video of me playing against my round deck. And that will definitely be a video you guys will want to see. So thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more.